Hi, I'm Mike Michelizzi. I'd like to welcome you to Custom Technical University and our top five tips for reducing sound transmission in tile and stone floor installations. Because of the durability of tile and stone, more multi-story buildings are using tile than ever before. In residential projects, we see tile outside of kitchens and baths, and in commercial common areas, even offices are using tile. The only downside to having a hard surface on your floor is that noise can travel more easily through concrete or wood framing, especially with the thinner or more lightweight construction we see nowadays. So here are our top five tips for reducing sound in your next tile or stone installation. Tip number one, understand how impact sound is measured and then rated. When it comes to tile installations, the sound rating to consider is the IIC or impact insulation class. The IIC rating is based on ASTM 492 and it evaluates the specific floor assembly sound transmission. Impact sounds are those caused by something striking the floor, like footsteps or a dropped object. The test consists of a calibrated device that taps on the floor. Next, decibel reduction in the space below is measured, and the higher the IIC rating, the better your impact sound control classification. Tip number two, always check the membrane's delta IIC rating. Building codes typically call for a minimum IIC rating of 50 in apartments, condos, and hotels. This rating can usually be achieved by installing a sound reduction membrane between the concrete or wood substrate and the floor covering. The floor assembly's total IIC can be estimated based on the depth of the slab and the contribution of the membrane. For example, a 6-inch concrete slab typically supplies 30 points toward the total IIC. Sound control membranes will contribute 10 or more points, so by adding a membrane rated for 20 delta points, you should be able to provide the total IIC of 50 for code compliance. Don't be misled by product claims based on very high numbers that give the total IIC rating. Often these include very elaborate ceiling assemblies with other acoustical products, and they contribute far more than the advertised membrane. If a higher rating is required, a different assembly will be needed. So always check the delta IIC rating of the membrane and know its true contribution to deadened sound. Tip number three, choose a membrane that targets the sound attenuation goals of the project. A sound reduction membrane designed for use with tile can be a versatile solution on your project. So select one that meets the requirements of ANSI A118.13 and has an IIC rating that's been confirmed by independent testing. To qualify as one of these bonded sound reduction membranes, a reduction of at least 10 decibels has to be achieved by the addition of the product. Although the membrane may help to reduce airborne noise and improve your STC rating, this is not included in the ANSI standard. One option to consider is Custom's Easy Mat Tile and Stone Underlayment with patented sound guard technology. This is a polypropylene mat that will not be affected by moisture as will cork and other products that tend to deteriorate. It's available in 3, 5, and 12 millimeter thickness options that contribute 16, 20, or 23 points toward the total IIC rating. So you can select the right one based on the needs of your project. EasyMat is also 25 times lighter than backer board and bonds quickly to the substrate with a polymer modified thin set mortar. And when you need to work even faster, EasyMat comes in a peel and stick version that's four times faster to install versus backer board. For extra heavy rated service conditions where there's point loading and heavy traffic, consider Crackbuster Pro, which is also a crack isolation membrane. This is a self-bonding asphaltic mat rated by the Robinson floor test for just these types of installations. Crackbuster Pro has a Delta IIC rating of 16 points. Tip number four, create an effective sound barrier between the tile and the walls. To reduce sound transmission, the tile installation must be completely isolated from adjoining walls. This is simplified when you're using a mat underlayment. First, cut two or three inch wide strips from the edge of the mat and use them for the perimeter and other abutments. Then, bond the tape or strips at the bottom of all walls and changes of plane in the tiled space before bonding the mat to the floor. You can also use hollow foam backer rod in place of the mat strips. Cut off the strips at the top of the floor tile after installation 
and use an acoustical sealant to seal the change of plane between the moldings, tile, and the wall. This creates an effective barrier that helps prevent sound from flanking or passing through the walls of the building. Tip number five, install a fully warranted tile installation system. In addition to reducing impact sound, here are a number of ways that sound control products can add value. Mat underlayments, such as Easy Mat, replace backer board. This is a great savings of time and labor, plus it reduces elevation. Easy Mat and Crackbuster Pro meet ANSI A118.12 for high performance crack isolation, and they provide protection from in plane movement. Easy Mat is also compatible with many radiant heat systems and creates a thermal break for better energy efficiency in cold climates. Easy Mat and Crackbuster Pro are eligible for Customs lifetime warranty coverage when properly installed with a system of qualifying products to prep, set, and grout the project. The Custom Lifetime Warranty covers the replacement cost of tile and materials plus labor. This is the most comprehensive lifetime warranty in the industry. If you'd like to know more about reducing sound transmission through tiled floors or how custom products can help you with your next project, please visit our website custombuildingproducts.com or give us a call. And be sure to like our video, share it, and subscribe for our latest tips on tile setting. Thanks again for joining us at Custom Technical University. We'll see you at our next edition of Custom's Top 5 Tips.